Welcome back to EDU in 90. Joanne here, and on this episode, we'll update you on the latest resources for school administrators to get started on the paid editions of Google Workspace for Education. Let's get into it. If you just purchased one of the three paid editions of Google Workspace for Education, or are deploying an edition for the first time, we'll take you through everything you need to know to get up and running. Let's get started with assigning licenses. For your school staff to start using premium features, they must have a license assigned to them. You can assign licenses to individuals, everyone in a particular organizational unit, or to everyone in your domain. There are several ways you can assign licenses. You can automatically assign a license to everyone in your school or manually assign licenses for individual users. Check out the link in the video description for a step-by-step -step guide. If you are a teacher and don't have a license assigned to you, reach out to your school administrator. You can also see how to find your administrator in the video description. Next, we'll like to share three features we recommend using to get the most out of your paid Google Workspace for Education edition. First, turn on Security Sandbox to protect your school against malware or phishing. It automatically scans and detects suspicious emails or malicious software. Next, use context-aware access to create access control policies based on attributes such as user identity, location, or IP address. For example, you can allow access to Google Drive only when substitute staff are on the school Wi-Fi network and restrict access during other times. Finally, ensure your teachers have access to practice sets, a feature built directly into Google Classroom that transforms teaching content into engaging student-centered interactive assignments, giving educators better insights and inspiring students as they work. Just verify teachers in your school and set permissions to allow verified teachers to create classrooms and use practice sets. We have linked a step-by-step -step guide and resources to share with teachers in the video description. To wrap up, we have a new easy to navigate web page for you to reference as you get started. Visit the paid workspace resources page to find videos and guides with best practices on using your Google Workspace edition, including the tips shared today. As a school administrator, you can also log into your admin council and turn on email preferences to receive tips and resources from us on using Google Workspace for education. And finally, if you're an educator, Feel free to share this video with your school administrator and see links in the video description for trainings designed for educators. That's all for today's episode, but be sure to subscribe to the Google for Education YouTube channel to stay in the loop for future ones. We'll see you next time. Check out our last episode to hear about Google Classroom, practice sets, and more.